and welcome back to the channel on this blustery day here we got quite the wind going and it's a coolish day and then with that wind it makes it feel even cooler but I want to talk about e-bike rebates government rebates specifically the state of Oregon within the last couple of weeks and this has been talked about in the past as well but in the last couple of weeks it's been brought up again uh, that they're working on a bill and this is not finalized and hasn't been voted on yet or anything like that but there I have some of the information on uh, some of the stuff anyway that they're uh, gonna have part of this and uh, it's uh, well it's kind of interesting but anyway here here's some of the things that they're talking about so in order to be eligible for this rebate uh, first of all the rebate could be as much as twelve hundred dollars or that's for a regular uh, electric bike or for a cargo electric bike seventeen hundred dollars you could get up to now, of course that's going to be dependent on how much you spend originally to purchase the bike there's no information yet on that exactly how that's going to work but uh so another qualifying uh, uh part of this is going to be that your bike has to at least have cost 950 dollars so it's got to be a minimum of $950 purchased bike. And see if I can remember some of the other things on this article that I read. Uh, so they're talking also about tiers, depending on your income and another uh, tier in this would be whether you're fall into the disability um, uh, category and if you are disabled uh, that will be factored in as well so I don't know how much rebate it'll be for uh, you know each step of income or for the disabled but anyway I just know that they uh, that's in the article that I read and then the other thing is, and this one I don't really understand fully, this one, uh, maybe it's simpler than I'm taking it as, but it said that in order for you to receive this tax credit or rebate, you have to have purchased the bike at a qualifying store in the state so that would mean for, uh, for myself for example I've had three I purchased three bikes so far I've had I have a rad rover that I purchased online from the rad power bikes store online then I purchased the Aerial Rider Grizzly, which I purchased again online from their location near Seattle, Washington. And then I purchased recently this bike I'm on now, the Lyric Graffiti from Canada. So I guess if you go by what they said, qualifying store in the state of Oregon, I would be ineligible for this rebate. And so it's almost like they're forcing you, unless I read this wrong, like unless they still, unless somehow you can get buy it from a store online 
I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is what I was reading about it anyway, and I, I just don't quite get. I guess they just want you to buy it in the state of Oregon here if you're going to get the rebate from the state of Oregon. But then it's going to get confusing to me because what if Canada has a rebate set up and I want to, uh, or I purchased this bike from Canada. Does that mean I qualify because I bought it from Canada? Or I guess I have to be living in Canada and purchase it in Canada to qualify. So anyway, uh, and then the other thing that'll have to be is that you have to qualify, or the bike has to be qualified as far as uh, to whatever safety standard they deem, whichever that is, and it has to be qualified uh, safety-wise as well. So anyway, it's kind of, I mean, I like it. I like the fact that we can get a rebate, but it's forcing you to have to buy it though in your own state. I kind of wish it was just a federal rebate and you could have purchased, purchased it from anywhere. But what if Rad Power Bikes has a store here in Oregon but I didn't directly purchase it from there, but they do have a store here that sells that bike. Do I qualify then? Uh, so maybe maybe you out there have comments on this or, or know more than I do about it and want to chime in. Go ahead, please do, in the comments. And uh, I'd be interested in hear, hearing from you on this. Uh, I do like the idea, though, of um, rebates for folks uh, to help in the purchase of an e-bike, the price, because the prices are high and not everybody can afford a bike, which is totally understandable. And if they want to really dig into this, you know, and and get people out on bikes, I think that rebate is a great idea. So, we'll see where it goes. I mean, like I say, it's not finalized yet or anything like that, so we'll see where it goes though. And uh, they may be doing more fine tuning on it before it goes to uh, be voted on. So just an interesting thing I read though and, and uh, I'm always trying to keep up on news on the e-bike in the e-bike world and uh, I'm sure it's an interest to uh, several folks out there I mean we all have live in different places and so not directly it may not affect us totally like this but maybe in an indirect way because your state might have something going too. I did hear too though, that they were trying to do something similar to what they're doing in Denver. Uh, so, if anybody out there is from uh, Denver, maybe you can chime in on this and let me know what kind of a setup you guys have there on uh, rebates. But I do like the idea that they're talking about it anyway. So we'll see where it goes, but as I'm going right into that wind, hopefully you're able to hear me all right. I've got the windscreen 
as I always do on the uh, GoPro camera. Hopefully uh, that allevi alleviates some of the problem with the wind. But as always, it's nice to get out for a ride. So I'm going at a steady 23 miles an hour, 728 watts of power. Sun's trying to peek through, but I think we're going to have more rain, but... So that's going to do it for another video on the channel. If you've got a comment on this video or any other videos, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell. If you'd like to purchase the Lyric Graffiti, I do have a link in the descriptions. And I also have a d discount code. If you use the uh, code Oregon e-biker mark that's all one word Oregon e-biker mark you will receive a hundred and fifty dollars off the purchase of an e-bike this particular e-bike here I should say the Lyric Graffiti so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care